Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. I had the day off today and I've spent it working on stuff. The bedroom is pretty clean. Look at that. And yeah, I just have been working on that. I'm gonna work on the living room later, but Chris is gonna be home in like 20 minutes or so and we are going to the temple tonight. So we'll be gone from like 5.45 or 6-ish to probably 10-ish p.m. It takes about five hours in total or four and then all the driving and everything. So that's going to be our night tonight. But while I was working on stuff today, I ended up, I've been listening to Disenchanted, The Trials of Cinderella by Megan Morrison. And you guys, this book is amazing oh my gosh i have gone through such a roller coaster of emotions with this book i read rapunzel oh grounded the adventures of rapunzel at the end of december and i really liked it i gave it four stars i thought it was really great but it wasn't five star material for me i think this is gonna be five stars i i'm really close to the end i only have like two hours left which is gonna kill me while i'm in the temple and I'm not able to finish it, so I'm just gonna have to put it out of my mind, but I'm definitely finishing it tonight. It is so good, and it has so many elements. Like, the characters and the relationships are so strong. You get to see all these different people's points of view. This is, like, the first Cinderella retelling that I've read that I've actually liked this Wicked Stepmother and the step siblings, and so much of it is just, like, misunderstandings, which is so wonderful. And so much of everything in this are just people's own points of view, which is so wonderful because you're getting to see everyone's points of view and all the characters have so much development and growth and you get to see all these wonderful amazing things happen and there's so much like political stuff and so much stuff about like people's rights and it feels very like almost I mean it's fantasy so it's like a almost medi medieval setting but at the same time they have a lot of stuff about like factory workers and stuff for like making different things. Fabric is one of the big ones though, like silk factories, and it feels very like 18, late 1800s factory abuse and stuff, which is heartbreaking, of course, and the children who had to go through these awful conditions and stuff, and like obviously stuff like that has happened throughout time, but that's an, actually an era of history that I've studied and, and studied quite a bit actually, and how similar it is and just everything. And there's three different points of view and they're wonderful and they work so well. And I am so invested in this book. It's amazing. So I definitely recommend go picking up the first book and then reading this one and there's not set a third book for release and it kind of kills me they they can do so much they and there's like fairy tale references and like other fairy tale-esque things like um the seven swans and there they made references to like sleeping beauty which i think they're probably going to make if she continues on with the series sleeping beauty better get her own story oh my gosh and it's just there's so many like wonderful fairy tale references, but and like fairy tale esque things, but it's not overwhelming. There's like a subtle amount of it, and it's just so good. I'm like quivering right now from like excitement, and there was like this really intense scene just now, and I was just like, <sighs> I literally have not been able to do anything for like the past like a little bit. I've just been like pacing around, listening to it, and like flipping out. So. It's really good, <laughs> and I'm definitely going to finish it tonight. It's so good. Here's a quick outfit of the day outside the temple. I'm wearing my striped shirt and then my new flowy skirt that I got. Black tights and my, I guess, Oxfords is what you call them. Which, the shoelaces match the lines on the shirt, so it's like, huh. And then I'm wearing my big poncho thingy, which I haven't worn in a while because it's super warm on top of my coat. <laughs> Thank you.
So we're back, and on the way there, uh, we didn't film at all uh, before we went or anything, but on the way there, heading toward the Boston area, which is where that was, towards the Boston area, we passed through our old town where we used to live, and uh, Giselle, uh, if you guys have been here for a while, then you know that Giselle was living with this couple for a while. For a few months before we got married, she was living there, and every night she would, like, make dinner for them, and, like, that was, like, her rent payment and she would be able to basically rent a room in that way from them and she was she was living there for a while and uh, I was having some of my book packages sent there for a while because our mailbox at the apartment that we had before this one was ridiculously tiny and just did not hold things very well and so I started having stuff sent to this couple's house and apparently a package of some sort got sent to them by mistake. I don't know why this happened. I, I've, I've, as far as I know, I've told all the publicists my new address. So this must be, this is either some sort of unsolicited thing that they're sending me, or somehow they got the old address and sent it there instead. But I have no idea how it happened or what this is at all. It says it's from a Penguin Random House, which I'm thinking it's a Del Rey book. I did request a few things from Del Rey, but I mean, they're, they were sent here and they should still be sent here uh, as they come or whatever. So I'm not sure what this is or why it was sent to this address, address, but we were able to go ahead and go pick it up from them, which is really nice. We got to catch up with them. We haven't seen them in a while. We've been, Giselle and I, today is Giselle and I's just over half a year anniversary. This is uh, seven months of being married and it's been wonderful. And it feels like it's it feels like it's been longer and shorter than that at the same time. Like it feels like our wedding just happened, but it feels like we've been married for a long time. But uh, we've been married for seven months today, and so we and we left. She left. She stopped living there, and we started looking for a new apartment right after we got married. And we found this apartment pretty shortly after that. And then we kind of spent a bunch of time packing up our old apartment, and moving to this one, and uh, so we haven't seen them in a little while but uh, we were able to talk to them and catch up with them for a little bit before we left to go to the temple. And yeah, so I have this package here. Uh, long story short, I have a package, and I'm going to open it real quick. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long because the camera is running out of battery, and I need to plug it in. Whatever the case, I'm definitely going to have to let the publisher know that I do not live that address anymore, and they need to not send me stuff there anymore. So this is... Okay. What is this? This is... Crown. Okay. This is definitely unsolicited. I have no idea what this is. I have never heard of this before. I'm pretty sure I have a giant list of 2017 releases that I'm interested in. And this is not on that list. I've never heard of this before, so I know what it is from Crown. And it is called The Fifth Petal by Brunona, Brunonia Berry. Brunonia Berry. Okay, well, uh, let me read what this is about real quick. So, uh... So I can end this in my so before my camera dies. So there you see, it's from Crown. So it's one of Penguin Random House's imprints, and uh, I, I'm I had Dark Matter from Crown. The only book I've ever gotten from Crown Crown is Dark Matter. So uh, I I'm guessing whoever sent me that uh, also sent me this. So. Do you think inside every one of us is a killer? This is the question that haunts the people of Salem, Massachusetts, in Bern Bernonia Berry's spellbinding masterful new suspense novel, The Fifth Petal, a tale of otherworldly powers, ancient myths, and a gruesome triple homicide. The camera died. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> when a teenage boy dies, suspiciously on Halloween night, Salem's chief of police, John Rafferty, now married to gifted lace reader, Towner Whitney, Wonders if there is a connection between the boy's death and Salem's most notorious cold case, the Goddess Murders, in which three young women, all descended from accused Salem witches, were slashed on Halloween night in 1989. Now Rafferty must uncover who or what is killing the descendants of Salem's accused witches, while keeping the town's paranoia, all too similar to the hysteria that led to the infamous witch trials at bay. <sighs> okay, so this... I can't tell if this is a sequel to The Lace Reader, or if it's just standalone that's set in the same place, or if I can read this one without having read The Lace Reader, because it says The Lace Reader, and this one brings back, I'm guessing The Lace Reader also takes place in Salem, and this one brings it back to Salem, so I will have to look that up and see if I can read this one. I don't know if I care enough to read it. <laughs> Honestly, I have a lot of stuff to read already that I'm requesting. Uh, I do appreciate them sending it, and it does sound intriguing. It sounds more intriguing than the the title and the cover 
led me to believe I am very interested in Salem, and I would love to go visit Salem. I wanted to go to Salem during the Halloween time, but Giselle and I never made it out, and I think she's not too big of a fan of that idea, even though I really, really want to at some point. Maybe this, this year we'll go to Salem for Halloween. I don't know if they have something going on there, but I think it would be fun. I'm sure they do. But uh, I'm interested in this kind of thing. It's a mystery, and it's a suspense thriller kind of thing with a de detective and murders and stuff like that. So that's the stuff I like to read about. I like to read murder mysteries. So maybe I'll read it and give it a shot. It comes out January 24th, according to this. It comes out January 24th. I would definitely not be reading it before then, as that was yesterday. And, uh, I mean, they sent it early because... The, the family, the couple that was gone, was gone for like two weeks. So uh, they had, they weren't able to tell me about this until they got back. And they just told me about it this past weekend. And we, I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to get it. But then Giselle and I decided to go tonight to the temple. And so we stopped there. But yeah, it came out yesterday. It came out on the 24th. And uh, maybe, I mean, I don't have a lot of stuff. A lot of, I think I have three, maybe? Three things for February that I re that I've requested. I think I have all of them. Maybe I'm missing one, but I think I have all of them. And I do have things backlogged that I haven't gotten to yet for January that I still haven't finished. So maybe I can finish this in February and possibly do a review or at least talk about it in a wrap up. Obviously, if I read it, uh, we'll see. Maybe if I'm in the mood for it, I'll give it a shot. If any of you have ever heard of this author before or any of her other books, definitely let me know. If you've heard anything, even if you haven't read them, if you heard anyone talk about them or anything, I'm going to look them up right now. I'm going to look her up and see what I can find. But anyway, Fifth Petal by Brunonia Berry. It's always uh, interesting, especially to get unsolic unsolicited stuff, because I'm guessing it's just based on what you've gotten previously and uh, what they've sent you previously, or they maybe they do check out my channel periodically and see what I've been reviewing and see what I might be interested in, but... Either way, fun stuff. I will put this book back here on the shelf up here where it belongs. Haul it whenever the next haul comes around. And uh, yeah, of all the books that I was expecting to get, that was not it at all. Yesterday's vlog is edited, and once again, it'll probably go up tomorrow morning because it's exporting, and I don't feel like waiting for it to finish exporting, slash uploading it, slash all that stuff that it takes and stuff, so I'll do it in the morning. I do have to go to bed. I definitely need to get some sleep tonight, tomorrow, or like, I definitely want to wake up and go to the gym and possibly work on today's vlog if I have time, but I need to get to this uh, car place by 8 tomorrow because uh, I have to go get the left, the driver's side headlight fixed. I've, this is something that got checked out in November for the inspection, and I did the tire thing that they wanted me to do, but never got the headlight fixed. So I have to do that, and then finally get it reinspected and checked off because it's been too long, and uh, I, I'm kind of running out of time for how long I have to get it get it done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that, and that's at 8 a.m. I have an appointment at 8 a.m. tomorrow to finish that. So, but it's bedtime now. It's like midnight. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard. I just had to tell you guys I finished <laughs> Disenchanted. And it was everything I could have dreamed of, and I loved it so much. It was amazing, and I gave it five stars with no qualms, which <laughs> only happened... Doesn't happen often. No, I was... My percentage of five-star reads at all last year, like, not including rereads, because I usually reread books that are five-star reads, because why wouldn't I? So my, <laughs> my five-star reads of new books to me was like one percent <laughs> yeah i reread like 30 books and then so i had it was like two percent or whatever if you take out all those like 30 books that i reread my once my five star reads are so like the fact that i give this five star read and it's only january nice <sighs> nice I loved it. Nice. So much. Go read this series. Please, please, please go read this series. By, it's by Megan Morrison. And I'm so heartbroken. Has apparently been planning this series out for like 10 years. Yeah, since 2003. Giselle, so. oh Giselle would literally kill someone to have the third book, I think. Because <laughs> she wants it so badly. But she's like, the third book isn't even on Goodreads yet, so I don't even know if the publisher has bought the third book or if there's going to be a third book. But if there's not a third book... I'm gonna die. I need a third book. I need a 
there is there's so much build up there could be so many books in this series and the world building is incredible and it's so flushed out and it's just like somebody said this in their review that this is like the most flushed out fairy tale world that they've ever read and i agree with that because a lot of times in fairy tale retellings you just get to see this one little pinpoint area and you just learn like the stuff around that one area and you don't get to see a ton in fairy tale retellings and this one you see and learn so much and there's not very much about the whole world in this one, but about this one kingdom. There's so much, and it's just, ugh. It was so good. I feel dead now. In the best way possible. And I was literally squeeing in the book. Like, yes. stuff happened, and I was just like, ah! And I, like, I could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so what, good. I've, like, I've been hearing about this all like the past few days and all night and it's just been really fun to be so excited all the time about it. I kept barging in here and he was like, please just let me finish editing the vlog. I'm like, I will, but let me just tell you this one more thing. And then <laughs> I'd come barging back in like five minutes later and like, let me tell you another thing. And he was just like, please just let me finish the vlog. And I'm like, no, I have to tell you right now. It's so good. <laughs> it's only, I, I love when she comes in and she does this quite often with books that she really likes and wants to talk about or books she really hates and wants to talk about but I I just I need to go to sleep that's all we can go we can go lay in bed and as we fall asleep I'll fall, I'll fall asleep while she tells me more about it so <laughs> it'll be fun and I'm enjoying I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy hearing more about it and I'll probably read it at some point too because anything that she gives a five stars to I gotta give a shot to at some point because if she gives it five stars that means it's gotta be good so Thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's it for today. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.